Is there a reason you chose the Elven Quarters? Just because it's the largest open um, area? I originally built it for base defense um, because I knew the raids and that they'd break you, break into your stuff. And I realized that this was a really good spot for that, mainly because you could block off the entrances. And once you once I built off that, I kind of all sort of took shape bit by bit. So gardens out the front here, uh, just for its pure decoration. Yeah, purely decorative, and that's mostly about it. Like, so it took a couple of day and night cycles to get the gardens to look decent. All right. The um, the red floors around the front here, and the like, the weapons, the weapon stands and whatnot, all the wall displays, I guess, uh, they look really good as yeah. well. Yeah. It's mo yeah, for decorative purposes, I was going to add weapons to them, but. Um, I just wanted some more t depth to the place. Another good reason to build in this spot here, when you don't have a courtyard open like this, you actually have um, deer and animals spawn in this little section. So it becomes an endless source of meat just through this in this open area. So let's go inside for the, uh, the main accord. Yes, uh, alrighty. This is my main storage facility. This is impressive. Yes. So, do all of these all these chests full, or are they decorative or uh, practical? Decorative and for extra storage. The top entire top two rows is empty, but that's going to be for say resources where you need a lot of stone. And then on the side where all the chests are stacked sideways, I've got my ores. Uh, so you got the basic ores, unsmelted, and then you move up to the second level, which is the ingots. How nice will it be when they add a um, auto stack dump button? <coughs> oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. Like you can auto take, but you can't auto like drop. drop. And then in these little back sections, you have like fabrics, cloths, um, other building materials that you need later down the track. And on this side where you got your um, rune table <coughs> and stuff you also have gems uh boxes of different the uh, precious gems and semi-precious gems so you got three furnaces here do you find that that's enough to like keep you going when you need to bulk make stuff or is it just because you need to fill in this area here maybe um i originally had five furnaces which was <coughs> enough for me like i find you can do multiple different types of ore at the same sort of time once i got ended up with the bigger furnaces i decided to move down to three so, and then utilize the two bigger furnaces that are actually out the back. Talk to me about this doorway here because this is not a standard doorway, is it? Yes, it, or is it several doorways put together? It is uh, several doorways put together, and it comes yep. from a material that's the late game. It's called Adamite. It should be like a white stone to me. To be honest, it should be like a quartz, where it's sort of like a white stone, uh, like limestone looking metal. Yeah, I was just looking at it. It's a stout archway, like three of them put together by the looks of it. Yes, it's this, uh, this one here. But because nice. I wanted to fill in the gap, I just chucked a bunch there to make it uh, more of a corridor. corridor. Uh, this is my daylight garden. Anything that requires a light source will be grown here. And I, this must have taken you quite a while to get all this. Uh, it's it's a nightmare to farm bat droppings. Like that in the last update, they actually reduced the amount of bats that spawn in it um, in the world. So it takes you a very, very long time to go out and hunt down bats and kill them. Yeah, right. All right, let's keep going on. What do you got next to show us? So right. upstairs we have our large brewery, which you get towards wow. the end of the game. Uh, you can definitely um, drink yourself under the table with this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unless you're a dwarf, and then you can have as many as you need. You get 800 drinks out of it. These um, narrow wall crowns for the for the tops here that make it look castly. Oh yeah, it's. It, I, I wanted it to look um, a little bit more than just a square box, so that's why I sort of added the extra details. And it actually, it just it came together really nicely. And that's when I started like adding extra little details, like the little the columns for the corners and the top pieces one piece that re is really nice it's like a uh, it's a wooden trim crown and it's probably one of my favorite pieces to add that does give us some good depth i saw that on the front wall there somewhere um yeah, before it, it's, all, I was, like, it's all around that. here like just uh, below the crowns you can see it all around the edging like it blends in nicely you yeah, don't even yeah. notice it but like it ad just adds that depth that you want later down the track you do unlock a lot of different decorative types of walls like other details in it but i don't i like them but i don't like them as much as ones where like it's like a different material or a different color that you don't wouldn't usually see to add more depth to it so this is a night garden for you there is two types of gardening and you don't it doesn't tell you what grows in the day and what grows in the night i've so far i've found that every all mushrooms grow in the dark and bitter wheat grows in the dark yeah. but i thought i'd utilize this area because it's actually away from any sort of light just to make myself a nice little garden area This is yeah. my kitchen. It has every amenity you could possibly think of. We have a small brewery. We have our bigger brewery. Yeah, nice. I really like the floor. What sort of floor is it? It's a wood floor? Uh, let me check what material is what's made out of again. It's it's called a wood floor. It looks exactly like the other plan in the wood and stone section. Yeah, umbison wood. <laughs> yes, mushroom wood. Yes, that's the one. And it turns into the best wood in the game. <laughs> Well, dwarves are quite known for the stone rather than wood. <laughs> An upgraded stove top, which allows you to cook like um, later game foods. Uh, roasting and there's pit. And the roasting pit. Yep. We ha over here Green we steak. have a grains grains mill grist mill grist mill grist. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's close enough. In this set of set of chests, I actually have so there's four types of mushrooms in the game so far that I am aware of. There might be more. And then I have two, the top two rows for veggies, and I pretty much use an individual box for an individual vegetable. I'm what you call a hoarder when it comes to materials. Oh, are we all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. You get, you get to hoard it all and never use it. <laughs> exactly. Speaking That's of right. hoarding, where, where do you hoard all your stuff? So far, so far we have Where's my loot? my loot room. This is my wow. armory and my treasury, and this is also my bedroom. My old gold. What a hell of a bedroom! <laughs> yes, all these stacks of There's gold. More gold in here. <laughs> yeah. All these stacks of gold equate to two full chest loads of gold. It's pretty cool. I like all the weapon stands around the end here. Weapon yeah. racks here. I originally cool. wanted to create a weapon weapon rack for each type of weapon one type of weapon and half utilize the shelf the other type there will be um more weapons to be displayed eventually and there'll be also other armor that i haven't actually gotten yet yeah so i was just looking before there's erebor city what then there's the balagost helmet hazard um army helmet and then the durin set as well durin set is the, probably one of the best sets in the game and what set are you wearing now this set is called uh, Mithril. It is pretty much the hardest metal in the game at this point in time. And what have we got out here? Uh, at the moment, this isn't this is unutilized territory. Once I get my night garden set up, and if I find <coughs> any more materials, I'm going to utilize this area for a bigger night garden for mass production. So, so show us the secret hint that you were t telling me about earlier. Yeah, with platforms, you can actually, if you clip them just off the side of a building, it actually puts a material underneath them. Having the floor like this allows you to build over the top of things and make an area nice and neat. And let's see if it does it this time. There we go. 
So this is a granite floor and it's um, it's filled out the bottom. Yes, it fills out the bottom and then the granite floor is like a dark colour. But I found if you actually delete the granite floor, it, it shows the material under it that you've actually raised up. So if you want to add extra depth to the game, colour. Yeah. yeah, extra colour to your palette it's for the builders. Different one with the darker shades for the taller bits and then the uh, lighter shade from underneath. That's really nice. The only problem you get with it is it's <clears> raised <throat> and there's no way to combat that. So you, you could break the granite floor and try and place it on the same level, but because it has the locket, the clipping, it clips together at the same height as it w what it originally should be. Hmm. So that's pretty much it then, is it? Yeah, this is... Are uh, missing something? Yeah, no, this is my humble abode and uh, pretty much... I've toured you through the entire place. Right. So, that's interesting to know. And this is a really good build. Um, I'd be actually interested to come back in a month or two and have a look to see what else has been added in the game and then what else you've done with the yeah, place. I, I, yeah, I definitely want to upgrade this place over time. And um, I'm looking forward to future <clears throat> updates, potentially um, other assets that I could add into it. I'm hoping they add things like chairs... So, uh, I have two questions for you before we finish it. Uh, number one, if you could ask anything from the game devs to either be added to the game or removed from the game, what would it be? Oh, that's a hard one. Like, there's two main things. But the right. I want a feature in the settings to be able to turn off those <coughs> uh, markers. When people come into your world, they can actually, mm. they see thousands of markers all over the place, which actually makes the game a bit unplayable. Yes, to, let me look to my right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah. They can only help you to a certain extent when looking in specific directions. <laughs> okay. And then the second question I have, which one is your favorite Lord of the Rings uh, movie or series or episode? To be honest, I think you got me on this one. Uh, I actually, <laughs> I, I have watched Lord of the Rings, but I'm not a dedicated fan of the series. I've never... Sort of, I've never watched. I think I've watched most of them, but I didn't watch them in depth with the lore of the game. Yeah, I'll stick with the Fellowship of the Ring because that's the, uh, that's the only one I can actually remember watching so much of. All right, everyone, hit them in the comments and let them know what's your favorite Lord of the Rings series, and then tell them that he has to go sit down and watch them all. <laughs> the more and more I come across this car, the more and more I'm gonna have to sit down with our community and Discord and do a watch night of watching. The three main ones, the three trilogies. I think that's about it then. Thanks very much for showing us around, Spawn. So if you two uh, have a awesome build you want to show us off as well and want us to tour it, definitely uh, hit us in the comments or join us in the Discord. Uh, the link will be in the description. Yeah, I, I also um, welcome anyone who wants to come and view my world in person. Um, there will be uh, my Discord name in the description below in the video uh, for anyone who wants to get in contact with me for a tour of the base. Yeah, excellent. No worries. Thanks, Paul. Have a good one. Catch you, buddy.